Hello everyone, I am Pawan Kumar. Welcome to my channel Corporate Skiller, Corporate Skill Set in Simple Videos. In today's session, we will see how to use hierarchy in model feature of Power BI. I have prepared a simple Excel file for training purpose called Training 2. There are two tabs in this particular document that is Sales Data tab and Product ID tab. If we go into look at the sales data tab, there are three columns, product name, location, and sales in dollar values. Each line item corresponds to a product sold in a particular location and the dollar value attached to that. If we go into the product ID tab, there are two columns, product name and product ID. If we see these two tables, uh, product name is the common denominator between the two tables so if we need to link product id to location and sales then product name becomes the common denominator let's try to export these two documents into our power bi desktop as we had seen in the earlier videos in order to import data we would be using get data so click on get data, click on the Excel workbook and click on the Excel from where we need to import our data that is training two and click on open. So as you can see, there are two tabs that is the product ID and sales data tab. Click on the product ID and then click on transform data. As you can see, the product ID is taken as a whole number data type, but uh, we know that the product ID should be taken as a text data type. So just click on the data type and click on text and click on add new step. Now this product ID has been converted into text data type. Now click on close and apply. So we have successfully loaded the product ID data tab into our Power BI dashboard. Now we have to load the other tab into our dashboard that is the sales data tab. So click on Excel workbook again, click on training to open and click on the sales data tab. As you can see, again, you can click on transform and you can convert the sales data type into fixed decibel or you can convert it into fixed decibel number add new step and then click on close and apply now you have successfully loaded the two tabs into your power pi dashboard if you click on the product id data set or sales id data set you would be able to see the columns uh, in that particular data set for example in the product id you can see product name and product id column and in the sales data you can see product name location and sales data, uh, sales columns just to demonstrate uh, the use of hierarchy let me show an example let me make a simple table sorry this one and uh, add product name and sales into it so this is a very simple table and you can see that each of the product and the corresponding sales associated with it so product a has a sales of 174 product b has a sales of 298 and so on and the total comes uh, comes to 864 euros as we had seen earlier in the excel file each of the product name uh, is associated with an product id so in this particular power bi the dashboard if you uh, if you add the product id it should also show the same kind of sales that is a is corresponding to product id 1 so product id 1 should so show a sales of 174 let's check does that happen or not so let me put the sales down or so that we have the same view 
So here you can see that product ID 1 is showing a sales of 864, 2 is also showing a sales of 864 and total is also 864. That means that there is something wrong with this particular arrangement. So let's go into the model and see that uh, here you can see that product ID data set and sales data set are two different data sets and there is no link between the two. What we were trying to do was uh, we were trying to use the product ID from the product ID data set and sales from the sales data uh, data set uh, and link between them. Because of that we were getting that particular error. In order to link it, we need to use the hierarchy or the model feature of Power BI. How to do it? So click on the manage, sorry, manage relationship and click on new. Click on the data set that is product ID data set. And now, so you can see that it has automatically linked the product name of product ID data set to the product name of the sales data data set. One more thing which you need to uh, be aware of uh, the cardinality. So here it is mentioned that it is one to many. It means that uh, the product name in product ID data set has unique values or no duplications. But product name in sales data set has duplicate values or it's not unique. So we have one to many relationship uh, between these two data set. We will understand it in more detail in the coming lectures. Click on OK and click on Close. Now you can see that there is this particular arrow. Now if you click on this particular arrow, you can see that product name in the product ID data set is connected to the product name in the sales data set. Let's again delete this one for now and see if there are any other ways of doing the same thing. One more way to do this is to drag the product name from the product ID data set into the product name of the sales data set. So it creates this particular hierarchy. One more thing I would like to point out here is if we go into this and click on manage relationship and click on edit, there is this cross filter direction. For one to many or many to one, this cross filter relationship will be only single and not both. We will look at it in detail in the coming lectures. So now if we go into the chart and check it again, now you can see that product ID 1 is giving a sales of 174, product ID 2 is giving a sales of 298 product ID 3 is giving a sales of 233 and so on and the total is corresponding to 864 euros. So now it is showing the correct data. It is same as we had seen for the product name uh, column which we had imported previously. We will go through a bit more complex examples in the coming uh, videos. But this video gives a basic idea of using hierarchy. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.